hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create a cinematic intro in just five steps in vstc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create a cinematic intro in just five steps in vstc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported a demo video in the editor so this is my demo video present right here and the first step which we are going to perform is we are going to add cinematic borders at the top as well as at the bottom of the screen. So to do that double click on your video, go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of the wipe transition is one second. So increase the duration of the wipe transition from one second to the entire duration of your video. So after you increase the duration of the wipe transition to the entire duration of your video, now look inside the wipe settings, which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently door is selected. So that's fine. Inside mode vertical in is selected. So change this from vertical in to vertical out inside directly false is selected so change this from false to true inside transition levels currently the values are 0 semicolon 100 so delete these two values and write 80 and then press enter and inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so delete this value and write 0 and now press enter perfect and as you can see we have successfully added cinematic border at the top as well as at the bottom of our screen throughout the duration of our video. Perfect. The next step which we will do is we will add a fade in effect and a fade out effect. So there are two things which you can do when you are creating a cinematic intro. Either you put the title first and then the video appears on screen or the video appears on screen first and then the title comes later. So in this particular tutorial, I will kind of add a fade in effect and that will ensure that my video comes on screen first. So let me just go to video effects and let me just go to transparency. Let me just select fade in and now click on OK. Now go to video effects once again, go to transparency, select fade out and then click on OK. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. So this was the second step. Add fade in and fade out. The third step is to add your title. So my video fades in completely at one second. So somewhere around one second, 500 milliseconds or maybe at two seconds, let's say at two seconds, I would like my title to come on screen. So place the cursor at two seconds and go to add object, go to text, click on text and now click on OK. Now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say, let's say, um, Sun Hill. And let me just center align this text by going to paragraph and then selecting center. And once again, going to paragraph and then selecting center align. Let me also change the font from Arial to Montserrat Black. And let me also increase the text size to somewhere around, let's say 200 pixels or maybe a little more. So somewhere around 300 pixels. Perfect. Now I would like to decrease the opacity of my text or maybe not. I would like to increase the opacity of my contour color from 0% to full 100% and I would like to increase the contour thickness to somewhere around 10 pixels. Yeah, yeah, to somewhere around 10 pixels. Perfect. This looks perfect. And let me also increase the space 
between my letters. So right here is the tracking option. And inside the tracking option, let me just increase the value from 0 to 10 pixels. Perfect. This looks perfect. Now, what we will do is we will decrease the duration of our text object in the timeline. So currently the duration of my text object is 15 seconds, 666 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce it to somewhere around 6 seconds. So inside the duration option, write 06.000 and then press enter. Perfect. So if I just quickly play this entire video for you from the start. Perfect. And right here goes my text. All right. So the first step was to add cinematic borders. The second step was to add fade in and fade out effect. The third step was to write some title and uh, we have written our title. Now the fourth step is to create some animation with this title. So double click on your text object and place the cursor at the beginning and go to text effects and select recoloring and now click on OK. Now place this recoloring text effect at the beginning like this and the duration of this recoloring text effect is one second. So increase its duration from one to two. So inside the duration option, write 02.000 and then press enter. Now look inside the recoloring text effect settings, which is present inside the properties window. Inside effect direction, currently fade out is there. So change this from fade out to fade in. Inside glyph drawing time, currently the value is 100%. So change this from 100 to 0 and then press enter. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. What we will do next is we will click on this recoloring text effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second recoloring text effect right at the end like this and click on this second recoloring text effect and look inside the recoloring text effect settings. Inside effect direction, fade in is selected. So change this from fade in to fade out and that's it. And so if, if I just quickly go back and if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start. Perfect. Perfect. So we are done with four steps. First was to create cinematic borders. Second was to add fade in and fade out effect. Third was to write down your title. Fourth was to add the recoloring text effect at the beginning as well as at the end of your title. And at the beginning, the title fades in letter by letter. And at the end, end the title fades out letter by letter. Perfect. And finally, the fifth step would be to add a little bit of glitch effect at the beginning of the title as well as at the end of the title. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a glitch effect. So place the cursor at two seconds, go to video effects, go to special effects, select glitch and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of the glitch effect is 15 seconds, 666 milliseconds. So decrease the duration to just 500 milliseconds. So inside the duration option, write 00 0.500 and then press enter. Now place the glitch effect before the title comes on screen like this. Perfect. Now click on this glitch effect and look inside the glitch effect settings, which is present inside the properties window. Inside preset currently default is selected. So click on this drop down list and select the sixth option, which is just displacement. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play this entire video for you from the start. Perfect. Perfect. What we will do next is we will click on this glitch effect, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second glitch effect right somewhere around here. So double click on your text object 
and our second recoloring text effect starts at this particular position so place your cursor right at this particular position and now go back to your timeline and now you need to place your glitch effect on the left side of that particular position right about here perfect and so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect so this is how you can create a cinematic intro in just five steps in VSCC free video editor let me just recall the steps for you one by one once again first we added cinematic borders second we added the fade in and fade out effect third we added the title fourth we added the recoloring text effect inside the title at the beginning as well as at the end and fifth we added the glitch effect before the title comes on screen and before the title goes away from screen so this is how in just five steps you can create a cinematic intro in vsgc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching